warm welcome from my side to the great megawatt charging launch event at the charging booth of EVS 35 in 2022 in Oslo. So I'm proud to uh, invite you to that uh, event. And uh, so why are we here is going to be first on that screen and um, we are happy to have you here. Yeah, big, big claps because that is uh, showing our vision and motivation and uh, so we started almost four years ago for uh, creating that charging system and then the approach was a simple one, just create one system for the world, uh, apply that globally and make use of all the competency we have um, within Sharin. He is uh, no longer within Sharin and he was the leader of the task force, the initiator, the moderator. He had all the skills you need to drive an international community. He is uh, currently in Portugal, he can't attend. And that is my personal and special thanks and those who worked with him know what he did for, for that project. Uh, by today uh, we um, are proud to have a couple of uh, technology companies uh, with, uh, with, within our booth area, so we have it around, and um, uh, that is uh, what the vision means. We, we start with the long haul application to lift the camera, yeah. and <laughs> it's always good, but Go probably ahead. more difficult than shy. So. <laughs> And, and that is a fascination, that is always innovation, the product behind and, and the people making it possible. And yeah, I pass it to the next step of organization, it's how to get it Develop in a task force starting in 2018 with more than 100 companies. Um, and this was mainly done to have a pre-alignment of the whole industry. Not only the truck and the infrastructure, but all other companies working on charging and interoperability to have a pre-alignment globally to ensure the main vision of Charin, which is a global unified standard for charging. For the development and for the discussion for the MCS solution, there were a lot of benefits being used from the CCS standard 8 standard, which you already know from the CCS technology. And also one thing I'm very proud of that we made that in this task force of Charin, that the connector this time is been directly located on one location on all cars worldwide. So this is something I really, yeah, please. Thanks for the applause, but it was not my work. It was the work of the whole team, so I will give that forward. To the team. So the key thing is to have this reuse of know-how and also for the developer of infrastructure and also of uh, the EV trucks that they can reuse and they can uh, do um, the same system behind what you can see here as a connector. I will later open it for you. <laughs> no worries. Um, but that by having this compatibility based on CCS communication technologies, they can also build up infrastructure and trucks based on existing technology, communication hardware, but also further mobility devices, like you see also on the other hall um, with the, 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 the helicopter, so aircraft, planes, vessels, marine applications, also for mining, agriculture, uh, but also for construction, can be used and can also be, by, because they have much higher demand on en electric energy for the devices, they can use this megawatt charging system to efficiently use their trucks, their construction, their caterpillar, whatever, vessels, planes, like I've mentioned before, marine mining and aircraft applications. And what is also important is uh, that we have not only the, the trucks developed, they have to be brought on the road, and therefore we also need the infrastructure side. We will also have the colleagues from Alpitronic with her charger, and we have here the truck from Scania, already have seen. 
Yeah, so from, that's from my side. A few words also regarding the specific truck. So this truck is a, is a hook lifter, uh, which has been used for demo of electric uh, trucks for Scania customers throughout Norway, because to use and to trial out the daily work with the electric vehicle is very important for the customers to understand how to work with such trucks and if, if this cast truck and this solution is capable of what they need and it is. And the, like I mentioned before, there's no better solution than electrifying the truck and the long haul um, transportation, also including uh, buses. Welcome also from my side. My name is Alex Knebele. I'm head of uh, product development in Ipetronic. I accompanied the hypercharger story since the very beginning and today I'm really excited to show you our concept solution for the megawatt charging system which currently serves us to evaluate the the connector system, but also the communication recorder, which stands behind it. And especially in this very early stage, it's really important that all involved companies uh, get together to really achieve one common standard and one common understanding. And I would like to give a big thank you to Charlie making this happening, making a phenomenal work. And together we can shape the next part of this e-mobility future. So, and Michael is our operator within our charging team and he's going to start the charging process. seems to be handleable. <laughs> so that is communication based on 1511.8. Communication starts, it takes a couple of seconds as we know and what we see it's ramping up now and so we have now the mega watt charging. <laughs> Thank you.